Hello again, everybody. I'm Freezing Inferno, and welcome back to Zelda 2. So today, we're going to get ourselves nice and prepped to tackle the second palace, Midoro Palace. Now, technically, you can do Midoro Palace before Death Mountain, but really, why would you go and do a silly thing like that? The rewards you get for beating Death Mountain far outweigh the rewards you get for beating Midoro Palace, so just save the palace for last. Speaking of rewards, the item you need to get the magic spell in Mido is right in this little cave here. And it's here we're going to see how goddamn useful the downstat is. No longer do we have to crouch down and get those low ground enemies. We can just do a nice jump and come right down on their heads and kill them. I tell you, the downstab is just great. There's a reason I was hyping it up. Oh no, Dyra, whatever will I do? I'll downstab it, that's what I'll do. Now that's what I call a level up. <laughs> Get that magic stat finally up to par. Oh. The downstabbing really works for these guys, too. Now you know there's something important in this cave, because they're throwing these goddamn alligators at you. Another fun little thing about these alligators, well, not fun, I suppose, is... Don't get too close to them or you don't have enough reaction time. I don't know what it is. It's hitboxes or something. Either way, this is the water of life. We're gonna go deliver it! So here we are, back in Mido, safe and sound, fully rested, fully healed, ready to deliver this item and get our reward. Now this magic spell, it's interesting. Every magic spell from now on is essential to beat the game. You can't skip anymore like I'm doing with shield, but... This one doesn't seem very practical at first, but it does have its uses. There's a very vague description of the magic. Fairy magic will literally turn you into a fairy for the duration of one screen. Now again, this doesn't sound very practical, but consider that there are a lot of forced encounters with instant death pits and really tough enemies. So using your fairy magic, you can just fly right above them and cheese the whole thing out. This doesn't quite work in a few spots, but there are several little spots in the game that are made a lot easier with the fairy magic. But it does cost a lot of MP. Like, it's equal to life right now, but once we level up our magic a bit, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll use it a few times, just to show you how you can break certain aspects. Now this cave's very important. This little guy can't be killed with a crouching attack, so just downstab him. Once again, that move is just so useful. I don't know, it might be one of the best moves in the game, if not the best. I still perennially hate those boomerang enemies, though. But he was guarding the second heart container of the game. And out of this cave we go. Well, we're doing rather well for ourselves in the item collection front today. There's still one more cave left to explore. I'm sure it'll have boundless goods inside to power link up. These little hopping guys are kinda hard to downstab in this scenario, but really just stick with stabbing them. They're not that difficult of enemies. I totally don't like these boomerang guys, but I do like the downstab, as I've no doubt mentioned. But nothing is going to stand in the way of our treasure. A regular old experience bag. But it is enough to push our magic up and equal everything out. Let's get out of here. Well, the only thing left to do now is get to Midoro Palace, and it's just to the left here. But you do have to get through Swamp. Swamp will slow your movement, both on the overworld and in the side-scrolling sections. I do not like the Swamp very much. What makes it worse, a hard encounter in the Swamp adds these little birds that swoop down from the screen and come straight at you. They steal experience and they only give two experience points. A lot of people confess to grinding those guys for experience. I say, there's better ways to do it. But for now, there's Midoro Palace. We're going to take it on next time. Apologies for this one being a bit short, but we'll get back to a regular length next time. Till then!